Hello friends, today on Study Scripture Online, I want to take just a couple of minutes to chat with you about integrity. One of the most painful experiences we can endure is to have our integrity attacked, especially when we have gone out of our way to do what is right. Has that happened to you lately? Even the Apostle Paul endured such attacks from those who should have been loyal friends and supporters. He writes about this in his second letter to the Corinthians. Perhaps the church leaders who attacked Paul's integrity were insecure, or maybe they heard Paul's name being praised once too often and got jealous. But for whatever reason, they soon began to undermine his credibility and put him down whenever possible. I don't think Paul would have reacted to some of this pettiness, except that he knew well that when a messenger's integrity is challenged, his message also becomes suspect. And because the message of the gospel was at stake, he went to considerable lengths to defend his integrity. He writes, I can state this confidently. My conscience is clear that we have conducted ourselves in the world, and especially in our relations with you, in the holiness and sincerity that are from God. Now that's a pretty bold statement to make, but Paul doesn't hesitate. His conduct had been without reproach, both within the church and out in the world. Sincerity is one of the character traits Paul claims. It means without hypocrisy. The English word sincerity comes from two Latin words, sine sere, meaning without wax. Ancient potters sometimes discovered that a bowl was cracked after it was fired. The honest potter would throw the bowl away and start over but the dishonest one would fill the crack with wax and paint over it. It looked just like new, at least until a customer put hot soup in it. Honest potters would advertise their wares as sine sere, without wax. That's how our lives should be. What you see is what you get. Paul has a lot more to say about how to respond when your integrity is attacked. For further exploration of this topic, Click the link below, which will take you to a sermon entitled, When Your Integrity is Impugned, based on 2 Corinthians 1, 12-2-4.